<laughs> yeah, it has. I know, it just, we fit together so well. Um, I, you know, I didn't see it coming, but I'm just, I'm so glad it's worked out this way. <laughs> I know. Am I what? Oh. No, I think I am. I think I, I'm ready. I'm ready to commit to you. Now, are you ready to commit to doing a wall ride? Well, here, we're at Spider Mountain. Burn it, Texas. We're gonna show you how. Oh yeah, you can help too. <laughs>
get the angle matched, and that's where speed is going to help you. Okay, so we're coming in, decent speed. Pedals are gonna be level, because I'm basically using this as flat ground. So what's gonna have to happen is, when I come in, I want the bike to get up on the turn and match the angle. So right here, you can see the bike is gonna be leaned over. At the same time, I'm still leaning and trying to navigate this as a turn. So at this point, I wanna be thinking about equal weight in the pedals, guiding with my inside hand, and then using my eyes to look out to see where I'm gonna go. If you're uncomfortable, you can turn down earlier. Most people, when they get uncomfortable, they just lean into it, and that's when the bike slides down. If anything goes wrong, look down, turn down. All right, so again, I wanna reiterate, wall rides come in all shapes and sizes. There's some that are completely flat, you have to jump on, jump off. There's some that aren't, like this one. And what's cool with this one is, you can roll in, pretty smoothly get up onto it, and then the same coming off. Now, you have to smoothen it out. So you can see from that perspective, if I'm trying to come off the wall at this angle, when the bike, when the bike comes back down right here, that can be fairly abrupt. So as a rider, you want to dampen that. So again, if I'm centered over the bike and my arms are relaxed, I can dampen that. My advice would be, as you get more comfortable, you're gonna spend a little bit more time on the wall. You're still gonna come down right here. And the other thing is, think about your angle. So I would rather come off at a little bit more of an angle this way than like this, because then I could end up sliding down like we've talked about. Now, once you get more comfortable, if you wanna stay high, you can actually exit high and you're pretty much jumping off the turn. We're getting fairly high level here. The speed has to be high. You have to keep pressure into the wall the whole way through and you have to be ready as you jump off to then rotate that bike on the horizontal axis and straighten it out. If you jump off like this and stay like that, that's not gonna be pretty. Not even here in Texas. Okay, so talked about a few key things the speed, getting the bike lean, but another important thing is staying centered over the bike. So think of it in terms of this. Right here, fore and aft, I'm centered over the bike. So when the bike's leaned and I'm up here, what we do is we see a lot of people getting back trying to steer the bike. You still need to have weight on the front and you wanna be centered fore and aft so you have the most amount of control. wall ride right there folks now wall rides they can be fun they can be fun if you're ready understand the physics understand the gravity bring in enough speed stay centered over the bike eye your exit lean that bike over match the angle you do all those things you should be good so this has been a fun one great trip here to spider mountain in burnett texas um, if you haven't watched our videos that we've done here in the past, check them out. Uh, did a few this weekend. It's been a blast. Great place to come ride. Good for the whole family. Um, hopefully this helped, gave you a little bit more confidence or you know, gave you a better feel for what's waiting for you down the road when you visit a place like this or another bike park. So I'm gonna go rip some more here on the Delano Peak and uh, wrap this up with some Texas barbecue. So. If you have any interest in learning how to be a better bike rider, I heard there's a place called the Ride Series MTB Skills Clinics that can help you. Uh, go to rideseriesmtb.com or send a message info at the Ride Series. Uh, follow along Instagram at the Rich Drew. Uh, stay positive, smile, um, have fun riding your bike, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace out, dumpers. Y'all come back now, you're here. <laughs>